Now we, are, we have the big pleasure to be next to Mr. Melody Festival. And I hope you don't mind me calling you like this. No, Mr. Fine. Bergman, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice meeting you. And uh, everybody knows you because you have been uh, Mr. Melody Festival since 2002. Yes. Can you tell me how a year, how your year looks like? Um, well, uh, try to make it brief. Uh, I actually start my year straight after the Eurovision Song Contest. So June is my month of contacting and trying to um, get everybody started to write new songs. So I see all the publishers, I see the composers that I haven't been able to get into the competition yet. And also, of course, I see the ones who usually uh, send in uh, their songs. So that's my June. July and half of August is off completely. Then I go back to the publishers in the end of August and to all the uh, I start contacting artists to see which ones are available and longing to be in Melody Festival and then we just keep on doing that until the the deadline which is around the 20th of September uh, then we start the jury work and then eventually I get the this year 27 songs from the jury and I start finding artists for these songs uh, at the same time, I start looking into what is missing in, in the genre mix to, to add on the four uh, wild cards uh, that I choose myself. And then uh, once we have the artists in, artists in place, we start uh, actually producing the, the 32 acts. And that is December and January we do that. And then we're on the road for six weeks. And then we have a winner. And once we have a winner, we start redoing the, the act for uh, Eurovision and preparing for the Eurovision Song Contest and then it's May and then it's June again and it starts all over. Wow, <laughs> it's, it's fantastic. Uh, you've been doing it since 2002, for how many more years you want to do it? Um, this is the ninth time I do it and I said that I will bear with it for at least ten. Uh, after ten I will consider to see if I'm going to continue or if I'm not going to continue. I'll, I, I do it year by year now. Uh, this is uh, something that is totally consuming. Uh, it, it eats up all energy that I have, so I have to uh, feel that I'm still burning for it. Uh, it's not a, just a job. You have to really, really feel that you can handle everything. You can handle the, the uh, uh, media. Uh, which is a big thing in Sweden that you you have to be able to sort of uh, focus on on what is important, which is the artist and the songs, and uh, it, it's it's a tough situation. So you are actually the one that pre-selects the uh, finalists for the Melody Festival, is that right? Um, no, that would not sound right. I I select. The artist. Yes, that's what I meant. And uh, the whatever the outcome is always up to the people. Mm -hmm. um, but what what we do is that, of course, it is a competition, obviously, but it's also the biggest show in Swedish Swedish television. So to us, it's very important that we make a show that is so interesting to people that they don't want to swap channels during these yeah. six weeks. So it, it's, a, it's a mixture of both, you know, to make the competition as uh, hefty as possible, but also to make the best show of the year. It is actually the best show, from my point of view, the best show that there is, the best national pre-selection there is in the Eurovision world. And I have to give you big compliments for that. Really, I've enjoyed it now twice. I don't speak Swedish, but I've been there twice and it was really amazing. How about you put together there? It's, it's fantastic. It, it makes us very, very proud to hear that. We, we, we really want to be the best selection, but uh, it, it's, a, it's, an, it's a challenge every year. And you get more and more people actually coming from Europe to see it, to be there with, with uh, the other Swedish fans and with the artists to celebrate it there. It's really nice. Which is lovely. We, we really like that. Uh, I have a question, Krista, because you said that uh, you are selecting the artists uh, for the final, uh, the final artist. How often is it that you don't use the same artist as on the demo that you are getting in, sent in? Um, that happens every year. Um, but it's quite rare that you... Uh, it's usually when it's a, just a demo artist, you know, not 
very rarely do I take someone away that is a, is a known artist, so to speak. So if the song is actually written for a certain artist, it's usually that artist that are most of the time. Most yeah. of the time, uh, it all it all depends. Uh, we try to uh, look into each song, and we try to find the ultimate artist that we have in Sweden for a specific song. And this, of course, is a matter of taste, uh, obviously. And uh, in this era of the competition, it is, of course, my taste uh, that is uh, has the final say. Um, and you can always discuss taste. I mean, we know that from the Eurovision, for example. Oh, yes. <laughs> we, no, we don't always agree on who wins and so on. Uh, but uh, it, it's fascinating. It's a, it's a lovely job, and uh, I'm very proud to do it. And also when I get to hear that we are considered to be one of the best in Europe, that is fa fantastic. The best. <laughs> yeah, I have to say I was so surprised. Uh, I have been participating in Eurovision for quite many years now and when you I didn't understand that from the beginning and when you meet people from Greece and from Spain and they say Melody Festival and they can sing all the songs even if they are in Swedish but they don't speak any Swedish it's really <laughs> fascinating and you are a bit shocked actually yeah. uh, it's you we are so how can I say spoiled here in Sweden so we don't always realize how big this event is actually on in other countries yeah can I ask you how many songs were sent in this year uh, this this year it was 2,800 and something or songs. <laughs> that's, that's really amazing. Um, which was actually little for us because we had asked all the publishers to actually uh, withdraw all the old stuff. Uh, because we noticed that a lot of songs kept coming in year after year and never made it actually to the mm. final contest. So we said, try to just get rid of what is not you know, good enough to be there at mm. all. And they, they took away something like five, 500 actually, which was good. It, it gives the jury a uh, better uh, workload. Just, yeah, <laughs> a bit less. <laughs> yeah. But you also have a new thing with the web joker this year. Do you have, a, how did it work? Uh, it worked very well. Uh, it, we should be very careful with the, 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 the translating the word Swedish word Joker because that that's a joke. Uh, it's a wild card. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we it, it worked very well. We had um, uh, 180 entries <coughs> sent in to, to our website, and they were all out there uh, having a competition for one one place in, in the uh, in the competition. And we had more than 800,000 hits on the website during this period of five weeks. And of these 850,000, 300,000 voted. So it's, it was a huge success actually. And uh, we will do it again. And I hope the winner makes really well in the competition.